Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Today we take a closer look into one of the most dangerous gang wars to take place in Scotland. The Daniels and Lyons Feud The original source of the animosity between the two crime families dates back to 2001, when a large stash of Daniels cocaine was stolen from a house in the Milton housing scheme and sold on to the Lyons. Milton was Lyons territory, and they felt the Daniels from nearby Postle were making moves on their turf. For almost two decades now, the bitter feud between the two gangs has seen fatal and non-fatal shootings, knifings, vehicle hit and runs, firebomb attacks, police corruption, witness intimidation and drugs shed loads of drugs. For the most part, the Daniels have been at the top. The Lyons, headed up by Stephen Lyons, thought to be in Dubai after a targeted gun ambush in 2006, fled Scotland to Spain. His cousin, Michael, died in the attack. Hitman Raymond Anderson and James MacDonald were convicted of Michael's murder and jailed for life. The Lyons are alleged to have forged links with the Dublin crime family, the Kinahans. The Lyons have enjoyed immunity and establishment approval since 1992, as Eddie Senior already well known to the police, was given disused Churnside School in Milton as a community project. He was given 1.4 million in public funding, all whilst using the place as a headquarters of his crime empire. Other known associates of the Lions from Paisley were Stuart Specky Boyd, Robert Piggy Pickett and George Goofy Doherty. All three are some of the most violent and dangerous villains to ever pick up a blade. They targeted Mark Rennie in 1995 for a £40 drug debt that spiralled out of control. For the first attempt on Rennie's life, Piggy got 12 years and Goofy got 7. Also from Paisley and part of the Lions gang are Stuart Gillespie and William Basil Burns. Stuart, in a separate incident, shot and killed Rennie and was given a 25 year sentence. The Daniels family has been run by Bonzo Daniels since the death of Jamie Daniels in 2016 from cancer. It's also been said that the matriarch Annette Daniels, Bonzo's mum, and was once married to Ian Blink MacDonald, is in charge. She recently called Daniels syndicate members to a meeting in Dubai. Before Jamie Daniels' death, he was moving between safe houses and was flanked by ex-military armed guards. His death left a vacuum that saw attacks increase. Known associates of the Daniels are Edinburgh Kingpin, Mark Richardson and Barry and James Gillespie from Rutheringlin. Tensions boiled over in 2003 when Eddie Lyon Sr, 8 year old son Gary's, who died from leukemia, had his headstone vandalised. Kevin the Gerbil Carroll was blamed and in November that year he was left fighting for his life after being shot. Attacking a family member made it personal for the Daniels. Kevin Carroll was the long-term partner of Jamie Daniels' daughter, Kelly Green, and best friends with his sons Robert and Francis Fraggle since school. In early December came the most bloody attack by the Daniels at the Apple Row MOT Centre, owned by Eddie Senior's brother, David. Two masked gunmen walked into the garage and shot Eddie Senior's son, Stephen, David's son, Michael, and their best friend, Robert Piggy Pickett. Ten days after the shooting, David Lyons received a ransom note which said, The boys owe me 25000 and I want what is owed to me. They all know what is about and the money doesn't matter to me as it's got to be paid by the piper. I don't want the police, the boys, not even your wife knowing about it. If you keep them out of this, all your lives can go back to normal, as we are all losing money through this. If you have any tricks for my pickup man, then all deals are off. Remember to keep your mouth shut. No cameras, no surveillance, as the pickup man doesn't know anything, so he's no use to you. Drop off 4pm Saturday. I'll draw you a map, X will mark the spot. Kevin the Gerbil Carroll was suspected of giving the order for the hit and police questioned him, but no charges were brought. In 2008, James MacDonald and Robert Anderson were found guilty in order to serve a minimum of 35 years in prison, the longest sentences ever handed down by Scottish courts. This was however reduced upon appeal.
As Mr. Carroll grew up, he became a top lieutenant in the Daniels gang and ran a group of men who staged alien abductions on rival dealers, mainly dealers who worked for the Lions. They were called alien abductions because so-called victims were usually found wandering in a state of undress and would claim not to remember anything afterwards. Mr. Carroll was by most accounts a maniac and incorrigible, not a great combination. One story suggests that the alien and abduction crew robbed a rival dealer of four kilos of cocaine, and Mr. Carroll told him, you're taxed, you bum. In July 2007, Mr. Carroll was sent to prison for 18 months for possession of high-velocity ammunition. Mr. Carroll met his demise on the 13th of January 2010, as he sat in the back seat of a black Audi outside Asda Superstore in Robroston. There is little doubt he was set up and a police officer was jailed for leaking information to the alleged hitman. Mr. Carroll was approached by three gunmen as he sat in the Audi. The child locks had conveniently been on, leaving him no way to get out, and shot him five times through the window as the men in the front seats fled. One of these men phoned Francis Fraggle Green, Mr. Carroll's longtime friend, his partner Kelly's brother, who arrived before the police and searched Carroll's body, removing his mobile phone. In the year before his death, it's alleged that Mr. Carroll had made 1.5 million from taxing drugs cash and jewellery. William Patterson, part of the Lions Gang, was convicted of Mr. Carroll's murder, even though he lodged a defence that more than six others could have carried out the murder. He was caged for 22 years in 2015. The Hanlon twins, James and Brian, who were good friends with gangland enforcer Kevin the Gerbil Carroll, both were attacked in separate attacks. Brian was driving along Mary Hill Road, Glasgow at 11.30pm on a Sunday evening when he was run off the road by a silver BMW 5 Series and a dark coloured 4x4. His Audi S4 estate hit a wall and he was hauled out and attacked by up to seven thugs armed with chisels and hammers. Brian's penis was chopped off in the attack as well as his injuries to his back passage, multiple fractures and a severe head injury. Just weeks before his own twin brother James had holes bored in his head with a power drill. James was pursued while driving his silver Vauxhall Vectra for four miles by unknown assailants in a black Audi. They proceeded to ram his car and another vehicle that had been waiting in a lane rammed James's vehicle again. Six men armed with power tools, hammers and chisels had piled out the two vehicles and chased James who tried to run. They pinned him down and proceeded to drill holes into his head. This brazen attack happened in broad daylight and James only survived as passing motorists rang 999. September 2015, Ross Sherlock, an associate of Kevin the Gerbil Carroll, was outside St. Helens Primary School as he went to pick up his daughter whilst wearing a bulletproof vest, where three shots were fired and two hit him in the arm. William Burns and Alexander Porter stood trial for the shooting. Mr. Sherlock was accused of stealing £2.2 .2 million from a house in Castle Milk. He had previously been stabbed in the face with a car key in the Prince's shopping mall by Mr. Sherlock. Mr. Sherlock was accused of stealing £2.2 .2 million from a house in Castle Milk. He had previously been stabbed in the face with a car key in the Prince's shopping mall. Mr. Sherlock had six attempts on his life in total due to the war with the Lion Syndicate. In one of those attempts, he was shot at close range back in 2006 alongside Kevin Carroll. In March 2017, Christopher Dixon attacked Ross Sherlock, who was on remand for failing to give evidence against the two men on trial for shooting him. But there are conflicting reports as another article names a Mark Quigley as carrying out the assault and it mentions just a scuffle. Mr. Dixon attacked Mr. Sherlock in Lomos Prison, slashing his neck after an argument as they left the church service. This seems to have stemmed from an internal Daniels clan dispute. Xander Sutherland, son of the late Jamie Daniel, was said to control long-term Clyde Hall and knows the Dixon brothers. The prison report fails to mention a weapon and Mr. Sherlock went on to the protection wing. James and Robert McCann, who were jailed in 2019 for kidnapping and assaulting a man, and both serving seven and eight year sentences, were hired as jail hitman by the Daniels. Robert ended up in solitary after attacking inmates relayed to the Lyons family. James McCann, who was suspected of the murder of James Goofy Doherty, who was knifed in the street and run over three times in 2006, was slashed in HMP schools for making threats. 
SPS struggled to keep a lid on the feud between Daniels and Lyons, after the police ran Operation Crackdown which saw a large number of foot soldiers sent to jail. EncroChat from 2020 has 40 members from both clans being told that there is a threat to their life after experts decoded texts. Francis Fraggle Green, Jamie Daniels' son, he is also friends with Taui star Mark Wright, was sentenced to three and a half years in 2012 for ordering a gang to beat up a gran. Robert Daniel got three years for his part in the attack on Suzanne Simpson. In 2015, Stephen Bonzo Daniels was carjacked in his cab and in 2017 he was tailed in his car at 100 miles an hour before being caught up and carved up by bladed thugs. Stephen's mum, Annette Daniels, crime queen, ran an organised shoplifting ring and was jailed in March 2020 for her part at an Aberdeen Sheriff's Court. Author and journalist Russell Findlay, who wrote the book Lion Slash Daniels Feud, was attacked on his doorstep a few Christmases ago and had acid thrown in his face. He managed to overpower the man and luckily had no lasting damage done. William Basil Burns was charged for this incident. In February 2021, six men linked to the Lions were found guilty of conspiracy to murder and sentenced to 104 years in total. These men are appealing conviction as a miscarriage of justice. James McGregor, who is linked to the Daniels and Lions family feud, was gunned down in the street a short while after a close associate of Kevin Carroll, who is said to be part of the alien adoption crew, had rammed a car with a van. The shooting happened in broad daylight in front of people and three kids. The shooter walked up to James McGregor and blasted him in the chest at close range. The gun jammed on the first shot. Saturday the 11th of September 2021, Robert Daniel, nephew of late James Daniel, was held down by four men at the Dawes Home Recycling Centre at Annie's Land, where he works and they hacked at his head, back, legs and arms with machetes. It is thought to be a revenge attack for James McGregor's fatal shooting the week before. What are your thoughts on the Lions and Daniels feud? Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like and share. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more Street Crime UK content, then subscribe.